how's it going? It's Michael here and welcome back to another brand new episode of the Hybrid Theory. Androids, Ultron, and Replicants. These four robot variations have one thing in common besides their enhanced capabilities. They all have similar identities that can be linked to a form of artificial intelligence. For this week's topic, we'll try to pick apart the science behind artificial intelligence with the focus being on how our favorite biorobotic androids may work, the replicants. Let's get into the theories. It went this way this time. Now let's look at the two. First, artificial intelligence. What is it? Artificial intelligence is tied to developing synthetic versions of intelligence agents, which help create autonomous decisions that can be used towards achieving a specific goal. A simplified version of a complex way of saying they help them make choices, good or bad. As humans, we naturally have these in our brain that we utilize in just about every moment of our regular lives. The agents are created to try and mimic the patterns of the thinking that humans have. Now onto a basic understanding of replicants. To those who don't know, the replicants in the Blade Runner universe are bioengineered androids that are nearly identical to humans aside from the augmented physical capabilities. So the Blade Runners are tasked with finding and taking out the replicants by preying on their one flaw, which is their differences in emotion. Although artificial intelligence can develop a type of autonomy in machines that allows them to make decisions and even develop ethics, they can only mimic so much of emotional responses before one does not seem akin to that of humans. In the real world, the ability to create organs synthetically is developing in a way for people to be able to receive transplants down the road. Recently, researchers at UC Berkeley have managed to develop a functioning heart. Not to mention, 3D printing has been useful in creating and transplanting synthetic cartilage onto humans, for example, for ears and for noses. 3D printing technology could actually be the key at developing stronger limbs and replacing them with the genetic makeup that makes up for bones that can be less prone to breaking. In terms of replacement limbs as well, the technology is becoming increasingly more sensitive in augmented limb development so people have more control of their prosthetics. So for example, say we make a full pseudo organic body, how about the brain? What controls all of this? Well, there actually has been the creation of an actual micro brain. But here, let's just make a semi-organic system that combines the growing brains with the artificial intelligence technology to make them more individual. In the real world, we've advanced our technology enough to create digital assistants like Apple Siri, Microsoft's Cortana, and Amazon's Alexa, not to mention the self-driving technology in the Tesla vehicles. The evolution of artificial intelligence is growing by the day, with a deep mind AI even teaching itself to walk which is a step towards autonomous thought achieved by replicants. The difficulty in this would be the continued effort to have it be powered and survive as building in certain limitations like them being electrically powered rather than some self-producing fluid would make the quote unquote retirement of them much easier to accomplish. There is a ton of information to know about artificial intelligence and please, I implore you to go online and search up for more information because there may be replicants in the near future. Anyway, but that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of The Hybrid Theory. What did you think about this episode? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Michael, signing off for this video. I'll see you next time. Take care. Don't forget to check us over on our website at hybridnetworkyt.com for more content, as well as our social media page and our Patreon if you're interested in supporting us.